Welcome. In this video, we will explore Linux file systems. We will discuss how data is organized and stored in the Linux operating system. We will also look into the common file systems like extension 4, BTRFS, XFS, and ZFS. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is a file system? A file system is a method and data structure that the operating system uses to control how data is stored and retrieved on storage devices. It is responsible for organizing and managing files and directories, controlling access permissions and security, optimizing storage efficiency and performance, and also handling data integrity and recovery. Now let's delve into extension for the fourth extended file system. It is the default file system for many Linux distributions. Some of its key features include support for volumes up to 1 exabyte and files up to 16 tebabytes. It also has improved performance with extents and multi-block allocation. Extension 4 provides delayed allocation for better performance and reduced fragmentation, journal checksumming for improved reliability, and fast file system check operations. To format a partition with Extension 4, use the command sudo mkfs at Extension 4 followed by the device name. To mount an Extension 4 partition, use the command sudo mount with the type set to Extension 4, the device name, and the mount point. You can also check extension 4 file system details using the command sudo tune2fs, followed by the L flag and the device name. Let's take a look at BTRFS, which stands for BTree File System. It is considered the next generation Linux file system. It has features like copy on write, which is abbreviated as COW, for data and metadata. It provides built-in RAID support for levels 0, 1, 5, 6, and 10. It also supports snapshots and incremental backups, online file system defragmentation, transparent compression, SSD optimization, and self-healing with checksums for data integrity. The BTRFS volume is composed of subvolumes, storage features, and data management. Data management features include copy on write, snapshots, checksums, and self-healing. Storage features include RAID support, compression, defragmentation, and SSD optimization. Now let's explore XFS, a high-performance journaling file system. It is optimized for high performance and scalability, supports extremely large files and file systems, has efficient metadata operations with B trees, journaling for crash recovery, and delayed allocation and extent-based allocation. Common use cases include enterprise servers, media storage, database systems, and high-performance computing environments. To create an XFS file system, you can use the command sudo mkfs.xfs followed by the device name. To mount an XFS file system, use the command sudo mount with the type set to XFS, the device name, and the mount point. You can also grow an XFS file system online using the command sudo xfs underscore growths followed by the mount point. To check and repair an XFS file system, use the command sudo xfs underscore repair followed by the device name. Now let's discuss ZFS, which stands for Zettabyte File System. It is an advanced storage platform. It combines file system and volume manager functionalities. It has data integrity verification and auto repair features. It supports snapshots and clones with minimal overhead. It has native compression and deduplication. It has high performance with adaptive caching. It also supports RAID Z, which is data striping with parity. ZFS storage pool comprises of datasets, data management, and data protection. Datasets include file systems, volumes, and snapshots. Data management features include compression and deduplication. Data protection features include RAID Z1, Mirror, and RAID Z2. Note that ZFS is available on Linux through OpenZFS implementation. Now let's briefly discuss some other specialized and legacy file systems in the Linux ecosystem. First, we have F2FS, which is a flash-friendly file system designed specifically for NAND flash memory-based storage devices like SSDs and embedded multimedia cards. 
It is optimized for flash storage, it reduces write amplification, and is commonly used in mobile devices. Next, we have Riser FS, a general purpose file system that was once popular for its efficient handling of small files and metadata. It is efficient with small files, has journaling capabilities, but is now a legacy system with limited support. Then we have JFS Journaled File System, originally developed by IBM for AIX, later ported to Linux with focus on performance. It has low CPU usage, is good for large partitions, and offers enterprise-grade reliability. We also have Extension 2 and Extension 3, which are legacy extended file systems that preceded Extension 4. Extension 3 added journaling to Extension 2. They have backward compatibility and are used in older systems. NILFS2, which is a new implementation of a log-structured file system, provides continuous snapshots and fast recovery, and is SSD-friendly in design. Finally, we have OverlayFS, a union mount file system that allows overlaying one file system on top of another, commonly used in containers. It is used in Docker containers and follows a layered file system approach with read-only and writable layers. Here is a comparison of the file systems we discussed. Extension 4 has a maximum file size of 16 tebabytes and a maximum volume size of 1 exabyte. It does not support snapshots or built-in RAID, and its data integrity features are basic. It does not support compression, and its maturity is high with good performance. BTRFS has a maximum file size of 16 exabytes and a maximum volume size of 16 exabytes. It supports snapshots and built-in RAID. It offers data integrity with checksums and supports compression. Its maturity is medium with variable performance. XFS has a maximum file size of 8 exabytes and a maximum volume size of 8 exabytes. It does not support snapshots or built-in RAID, and its data integrity features are basic. It does not support compression, and its maturity is high with excellent performance. ZFS has a maximum file size of 16 exabytes and a maximum volume size of 256 zettabytes. It supports snapshots and built-in RAID. It offers end-to-end -end data integrity and supports compression. Its maturity is high, although the version on Linux is implemented through OpenZFS. Now let's talk about choosing the right file system for your needs. For a desktop or laptop, Extension 4 is a reliable, well-tested option with good performance for everyday use. BTRFS is a good choice if you need snapshots for system backups and rollbacks. For servers, XFS offers high performance for large files and databases. ZFS provides data integrity, RAID capabilities, and snapshots. For embedded and mobile systems, F2FS is optimized for flash storage and SSDs, while Extension 4 offers a good balance of reliability and performance. For storage arrays, ZFS is recommended for its data integrity, RAID, compression, and deduplication features. BTRFS offers similar features to ZFS with native Linux support. Here is a quick summary of what we have learned. Linux offers a variety of file systems for different use cases and requirements. Extension 4 remains the most widely used due to its stability and performance. BTRFS and ZFS provide advanced features like snapshots and data integrity. XFS excels in high-performance environments with large files. Specialized file systems like F2FS are optimized for specific hardware. If you want to learn more, check out the Linux file system documentation, the Linux programming interface, the Arch Linux wiki pages on file systems, the BTRFS and ZFS project documentation, and the Linux kernel source code. Thank you. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.